We now commence the opening session with a report from the Minister of Trade of the Republic of Indonesia, His Excellency Gita Wiryawan. Your Excellency, Dr. Susilo, Dr. Susilo Bambang Yudhoyono, President of the Republic of Indonesia, Ministers of the Cabinet of the Republic of Indonesia, Roberto Azevedo, Director General of the World Trade Organization, distinguished fellow ministers, Ambassador Shahid Bashir, Chairman of the General Council, Ambassadors, Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen. It is my pleasure to welcome you all to the beautiful island of Bali for the ninth WTO Ministerial Conference. It is a great honor to be joined by the President of the Republic of Indonesia at the official opening of the Bali Ministerial Conference. Your presence here reflects the great importance Indonesia places on its role as its host of MC9 and our steadfast belief in the multilateral trading system. Mr. President, the Bali Ministerial Conference is the culmination of one of the most intense periods of negotiations in Geneva since the launch of the Doha Development Agenda 12 years ago. Here in Bali, ministers will review the regular work carried out since the last WTO Ministerial Conference in 2011. Ministers will also be asked to consider and take decisions on several key issues and draft texts that are the results of negotiations over the past few months. It is our hope that over the course of the next few days, ministers will be able to send a strong message to the rest of the world that the multilateral trading system works, that the WTO remains the preeminent forum for negotiating new trade rules, and that it can deliver tremendous economic benefits to all its members. The issues ministers will discuss here in Bali include a small but significant proportion of the Doha development agenda trade facilitation, elements of agriculture, and pro-development initiatives. Each of these issues is important in its own right. Trade facilitation will smoothen the flow of goods across borders, greatly reducing the time, cost, and administrative uncertainty of engaging in international trade. New flexibilities on agriculture will improve the lives of farmers in developing countries, promoting food security and the alleviation of rural poverty. And outcomes on development will enhance the ability of least developed countries to reap the benefits of trade. We sincerely wish that the ministerial conference and its deliverables could have profound significance. Success here in Bali will demonstrate to the world and to ourselves that we are still capable of coming to agreement on matters critical to the global economy. Agreement on the Bali package has the potential to reinvigorate negotiations on the Doha development agenda. Success here will set us on a new path towards the conclusion of agreements that will maximize opportunities for all members and particularly for developing and least developed countries to benefit from growth in global trade. We are on a cusp of an accomplishment that has eluded us for 12 long years. We're closer than ever before to the first tangible results of the long running Doha round. We can see the finish line and we are able to cross it our achievements here will restore the world's faith and confidence in the WTO and the multilateral trading system. Success in Bali is critical. Now is the time for us to demonstrate to the world that the WTO is still relevant and that members are capable of putting aside their differences, 
for the collective benefit of businesses and citizens around the world. Once again, Mr. President, it is a great honor and privilege to have you preside over the opening of this ninth WTO Ministerial Conference. Thank you.